This is the first time uh, we will connect to the system using the classical graphical user interface and for this uh, we will explain all the steps uh, just uh, one at a time and of course we will also use these first videos just to explain all the parts uh, that are more relevant for the screens and even some tips just like basic navigation that of course these tips will apply to any model that you're working with. Now, well, um, this is now it's necessary uh, just to know that the system, the ERP system uh, from SAP, uses a program that just works as a graphical user interface. It could be Fiori, but right now we'll use the other program, which is the SAP Logan. Uh, now, for this, um, people in the IT uh, department they need to install this program in every computer of all the users that will just uh, connect and, and work with the uh, ERP daily. Uh, of course, we are working in a computer that uh, has already the um, program installed, so we have it available on our desktop, but here also at the uh, in the Windows Start bar. So let's just click on it, and uh, in this pop-up, we only have one line to connect to the, the only system that we have, our S4 HANA system. So let's just double-click the line. And now, well, of course, we just want you to pay attention to the left-hand side in which we have the four main fields that we need to complete to connect to our server. Of course, the first is what we call the client. Um, and, well, this is just like a, a technical uh, idea of the uh, cor corporation to the system. So for us, we're working with 400, which is fine. Uh, it's already defaulted here by, by the SAP Logon program. Now, the last uh, field, is what we call the logon language uh, and we need to enter the just two digit code uh, to identify the um, language that we want the graphical user interface to use so that it will show all the screens in this uh, logon language right now for us we want en which of course is the code for just english now well uh, need, we also need to compl uh, complete, of course, with our, our what we call our credentials. So that's a combination of user and password. And well, just about what's important with the user, uh, I mean, most of the times it's just uh, a combination of our uh, name, uh, uh, like first name and last name. But for us in, in this uh, scenario, we'll just have a, what we call a generic uh, identifier. And well, one of the main reasons uh, that this field is so important is because everything we... Uh, Run, all the things that we execute in the SAP system will, uh, and if we save something or post something, it will be just uh, 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 logged into just the logs of the system using this uh, user that we select here. So that just means if we create a master record, then our user will be linked to it. If we post a document, our user will be linked to that as well. Or even if we run like a complex program and the program creates um, postings, well, all those postings will be just linked to our user. Even if we customize the system, everything will be linked to this user. So of course, uh, well, we need to uh, just uh, be aware and be careful with our, uh, especially with our, our credentials. They should never be, we, we should never lend our credentials to any other of our colleagues. They are uh, only for our use. Uh, and well, the password, of course, um, uh, actually, like initially the IT members, the IT team, they will just uh, assign a default uh, password, just like the initial password. But um, if if we were just connecting like just like the first very first time uh, using these credentials the system will just ask uh, from us to update our credentials um, especially the password uh, but right now we have already connected previously so the system uh, will want to show these uh, requests so well now that we have entered all the required data we can just uh, press enter in the keyboard just maybe this message it will show up about the copyright and well, what is important now for us is just to realize that um, this is the SAP Easy Access men, uh, just menu. Uh, and in this screen, we have access to pretty much everything because it, it comprises all the different uh, sections here that uh, the system is now showing. But most of the times, especially if, like we are assuming we are just like a regular end user, um, the system will show 
uh, and um, we can just select what we call the user menu so a uh, user specific menu sorry and that will just be uh, reduced to the main roles the main things that uh, we uh, have to carry out because of the role we play in the organization right now for us uh, we have everything open and as you can see we have uh, everything all this the complete spectrum starting from logistics going to accounting and like uh, uh, controlling uh, we can also discuss about some human, cap human capital management activities and even just the customizing of the system uh, we can access that here uh, just uh, in tools also just the monitoring but right now we, we just have to understand that there is like a complete universe to uh, to learn and that we should master but for the time being uh, this is just like a short le lesson just to connect so for the time being we'll just finish the lesson but of course we invite you to write to our email uh, which is 123learnsap at gmail.com uh, just maybe suggesting uh, what uh, you want for us to show in the future in, in future uh, trainings or even to complete a bit more this one uh, so just drop us like your comments there and we will consider them of course immediately for our future developments.